have your attention please? Can I have your attention please, children? We want you to be quiet. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here today. I'm going to yell as loud as I can, but... It's our privilege to baptize this morning. Baptism is the wedding ring of Christianity. It is an outward profession of an inward relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be no sins washed away in this water. Our sins are covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. But when our folks come in this morning to be immersed, it is a picture that they have died with Christ, they are buried with Christ, and they have rose again with new life in Christ, living the resurrected life. It is an outward step of obedience to proclaim to you that they are happy to be identified with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so this morning, we're thankful to be able to baptize a few folks today. Who's our first victim? Amber is. Come on up here. Wonderful. Amber, your family is here. You're here right there. You are. All right, you ready to, you're just going to get in and sit down. All right, there we go. It's nice and warm here. It's, is it hot? It's warm. All right, let's do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, let's turn around this way. Can you be seated? Is that all right? Can you be seated right where you are? And do your very best. Uh, you might want to sit on the bottom. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go under. All right. We go all the way under uh, and uh, to, to show that total immersion in the life of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I have two questions to ask you, Amber, this morning. Number one, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? By your profession of faith, will you endeavor to be his disciple and follow him and his teachings? Upon your profession of faith, we're going to hold your nose, we're going under. Upon your profession of faith, the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bear with him the likeness of his death. Raise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, give me a hug. I'm already wet. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen and amen. That's good. Delia. Come on down, Delia. This is Delia. Delia, step in right there. Woo. All right. Turn around this way. Let's get your feet right up against the bottom there. That way we don't slide too far. I'll give you something to press against. There we go. Praise the Lord. Yeah, you came to our church about, uh, it's been about four months, right about, right about that, about four months. First church you'd ever been to was our church. Yep. First time she'd ever heard the gospel. And she's got an amazing testimony. You need to hear it sometime. But she received the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Brother Jim Chambers, I think. Where's Brother Jim at? Brother Jim, was it Brother Jim that got to do with you about your soul talk, you about receiving Christ? Yep. And, uh, boy, she and Israel have just been coming faithfully. The joy of the Lord is upon her face, and we're so thankful to have you. Delia, I have two questions for you. Have you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. By your profession of faith, will you be his disciple and follow him wherever he may send you? Yes. Upon your, close your nose. We're going to go under in your mouth. You got it? Upon your profession of faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Woo! With you. Amen and amen. Give me a hug this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right. Amen. 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 Yes. Israel. Israel. This is why we got the eight foot tank. All right. Israel, go ahead and step in. Watch your step there. All right. He's not used to wearing a dress. That's a good thing. <laughs> Amen. All right, want to sit on your on your bottom there, stick your feet right up against the wall. Yeah. Israel and Delia came the same time, and just to, I think this is the right way to say this. They used to go past our church a lot, and they would hear the people of God inside laughing and talking and conversing with one another, and wanted to know what that was all about. So they came in. Israel did not receive Christ uh, immediately when Delia did. We had to sit down and talk quite a bit. Gave him some scripture, gave him some books to read about who Jesus really was. And uh, by investigating for himself the claims of Jesus Christ, Israel came to the saving faith of the Lord Jesus. And, uh, and praise the Lord has been just soaking up the word of God and soaking up the fellowship in the church. And so again, we just praise the Lord for that. Israel, I have two questions for you. Have you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. 
by your profession of faith, will you be his disciple and follow him? Yes, sir. Amen. Close your nose and mouth, brother, you're going under. I baptize you, therefore, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Bear with him the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. Amen. Woo-hoo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Give me a hug, brother. Give it to me. Amen. Amen. I love you. Amen. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. All right. Is this it? This is next? There we go. Come on up here. Andre. Amen. Amen. Love you, brother. Uh, uh, before you get it, Andre, where's your family? Right here in the front. Right, right here, here, right there. Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul back Pastor. there. Pastor. Grandpa. Grandpa. Nephews, mom. cousins, brothers. Back there. Dad's back there somewhere. There's 10,000 of them here. I met Andre's mom five years ago, I believe, out on the porch. We talked about her family and her children. They'd moved close by or summers, and, and here we are now. We praise the Lord for that. He has received Christ, but has never been uh, scripturally baptized. And uh, I, I applaud that. And I applaud his willingness to be obedient to the Lord. And uh, he, is, he is, again, saved. Just follow the Lord today in believer's baptism. And so my brother, go ahead and hop in. Hop in, yep, there you go. Of course, there's Laurel. And the kids, there's baby. All right, there we go. All right, feet up against the wall. Amen. I have never met, never met anyone more excited to get baptized than this guy right here. Very excited. I have two questions to ask you, my brother. Have you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. By your profession of faith, will you be his disciple and follow him and be just go wherever he sends you? Yes. Amen. Upon your profession of faith, the Lord Jesus Christ, and those him out. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Bear with him a lightness of his death. Praise to walk in the Yes. Amen. Woo-hoo. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is that everyone? That's everybody. Praise the Lord. What a good day. Amen. Woo! I like it. I think we're going to keep this up. I, I kind of like it out here. I want to encourage you to pray for these folks that they have obeyed the Lord. They've made this profession of faith public. It's now our duty as a church to love them, to receive them, to encourage them, to pray for them, and to uh, welcome them into the family of the Lord. And uh, we're excited that now Amber and Anthony, whom we baptized, where's Anthony at? Anthony, Anthony, all right, right there. Anthony we baptized several months ago, there you are. Anthony and Amber, and now, now they're gonna be able to join the church together. Amen. And uh, so let's just do that right now. Amber and Anthony both made a profession of faith. They have both been uh, baptized scripturally. We have a motion to bring them into fellowship. Adam Colston, second by Stacy Col- uh, Stacy there. All of God's people said. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the membership this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for staying. And again, we just give God the praise and the glory for what he's doing in our church. We'll see you tonight by his grace and his goodness. Lord, dismiss us with your blessing. It has been good to be in your house today. Thank you for obedient Christians who want to follow you and be your disciple. Thank you for the families that have prayed for them. Thank you for the people that invested into their lives. Lord, thank you for your work in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. You're the best.